Inside this glass case is $25,000, but there's just one problem. It's locked. And the keys are on top of this giant warped wall. So in order to get the money, a competitor will not only have to scale the 14 and a half foot warped wall, they will have to navigate all seven obstacles that make up the impossible obstacle course. I spent six months building this obstacle course to find the world's most well-rounded athlete. And then I invited all of my subscribers to compete. The only rule to this course, do not touch anything red. Let's go meet our first competitor. Hi, my name is Drew. I'm 23 years old. Originally from California, Long Beach, but just moved to Boise, Idaho. And I am looking forward to the pegboard. Not looking forward to the warped wall, but uh, gonna give it my all, or the tire. But if I win the 25,000, I'm gonna pay off my medical debt and then help my family, you know, uh, put a down payment toward the house, so. Nice. Reach for it. Big hop, big hop. Oh no! They're slick. Hi, my name is Dallas. I'm 32 years old and I'm from Chandler, Arizona. I landed yesterday and I'm ready to roll. All right, here we have Dallas, the 32 year old, flew in all the way from Chandler, Arizona for this event. Love to see it. I appreciate every single competitor that came out for this event. Whether you just drove down the street or flew across the country, this is what it's all about. Competition, $25,000 on the line. Dallas knows it and he is so long. Let's see how he handles that pegboard. The vertical jump was no problem for him. Pegboard looking to be not that hard either. The only thing this guy has to worry about, he's so tall, he has to keep those legs tucked or he's gonna drag his feet on the lava. Let's see how he handles the transition. The transition between the pegboard and the liche is absolutely brutal. You cannot touch anything red. And here he is about to swing into the liche. He's gonna need one big swing and one big reach. You got it. Nice. Oh, he touched. Sorry, man. My name is Jace. I am 10 years old, and I go to Northwest Ninja Park and doubt I can lift that tire. But you won $1,000 in yeah. which video? Um, longest hang wins $1,000. And what'd you do with the money? Buy a cotton candy machine. That's what I'm talking about. He's already taken $1,000 from me in that dead hang competition. The question is how much will he take from me today? $25,000 on the line. He's gonna have to get through that tire. We're wondering, can he even get to the tire? My money's on Jace. He made the first two obstacles look easy and now he's on to the pegboard. Can you reach those? I'll help you out if you need. He doesn't need help. Look at this kid go. Oh, go for it. Yes, yes, $100 richer. Heck yeah. $100 bills are hidden throughout this course. If you want to know the location of all the $100 bills, you can go to nicksimmonsfitapp.com, download the app. I tell you where all the hundreds are located. Back to Jace here. What is this technique we're seeing? This is the monkey bar technique. I have never seen this before, but I promise you're about to see it a lot more because Jace taught us this technique and there he is. The kid found another hidden 100. 100. I didn't think anyone would be able to get that. He's $200 richer already. He can hang here for 12 minutes if he wants, but he wants to get to that tire. But in order to make it there, he's gonna have to get through this tough transition and get through the lache. Clean transition, well done, Jace. Now he's not tall enough to rest on the side of the tower. Let's see what he decides to do. Jace with the muscle up, he will rest on top of the tower. This kid can't be stopped. Looks like he's ready to go for it. Now, I happen to know that Jace has hit a 10-foot lache before. I've seen him do it on his Instagram account. Let's see if he can land this one. 10-foot lache, big swing. He's carrying a ton of momentum, flies through the air, and oh, not quite, but a perfect rollout. Well done, Jace. $200 richer. Great try. Hi, my name is Trey. I'm 20 years old, and I'm here from Springfield, Oregon. Based on my training, I'd say I'm least excited about the tire flip, maybe. I'm just recently getting into strength training. If I win the 25,000, I'm most excited to use it towards college, hopefully get a degree. Come on, Trey. We're ready when you are. 
20-year-old Trey. He's a local from Springfield, Oregon with those long legs. Not a problem as he crosses the quintuple steps. Slow and steady wins this race. I don't think the second obstacle, the vertical jump, is going to be much of a problem for him either. And nope, perfect vertical jump. Now let's see what he chooses to do on the pegboard. He just saw Jace introduce the monkey bar technique. And yeah, it looks like Trey is also going to use the monkey bar technique. This seems to be the way to go. Slow and steady, monkey bar your way across the 16-foot pegboard. And Trey has done it. He is successfully through obstacle three onto obstacle four, the Lachey. Now a reminder for you viewers, no competitor has ever successfully landed this jump. A 10 foot gap, but look at Trey, he's building momentum. He is, he's done it. He's our first athlete to ever cross the Lachey. This kid may go all the way. Now he faces the tire. In his interview, he said he's most nervous for this obstacle. Let's see how he does. He's got his hands low, chest high. Oh, but he's dropped it. Let's give him one more try at that. One more try and no, he is not able to flip the tire. That's the end of Trey's run, but that is a new course record. Well done, Trey. You may notice that each competitor is wearing a button when they compete. Well, these incredible little devices are not buttons at all, but rather clippable wireless microphones from Anchorwork. These M650 wireless microphones are amazingly compact and lightweight, and we love using them here at the obstacle course to quickly switch between competitors. With dual channel wireless pickup and voice shield noise reduction, we can get rid of ambient noise without losing vocal details. Plus, TrueLink wireless technology covers up to 656 feet of transmission. I also love that content creators can choose between six colors by replacing the M650 cover. With the M650's easy to wear design, you can also wear it using the built-in magnet option, which will keep the M650 firmly in place without the microphone falling off or slipping down. These microphones are easy to use and give us great, consistent audio every single time. If you want to get a pair for yourself, I've added a link in the description below. Now back to the action. I'm kind of nervous right now. Hi, my name is Orlando. I'm from Mexico, actually. De que parte? Uh, parte de Oaxaca. Oaxaca. 100% Oaxaca guy. Uh, if I win at 25,000 rounds, I'd probably go to my town. I don't know, have some fun over there, so. All right, here we have Orlando from Oaxaca. Look at him go slow and steady. I don't think this is gonna be a challenge for him. The hardest part is right here. Ah, uh, I know. Bueno suerte, Orlando, let's go. And he is safe, he's through obstacle one. He'll need a big hand plant to get through oh. obstacle two. Oh, it's oh no, Orlando, the trail leg. You clip the hurdle, you're eliminated. On to the next. My name is Jace Brooks. I am 23 years old and I am from Eugene, Oregon. For training, I like to train CrossFit. Given that I'm a CrossFitter, I am most excited for the tire flip. I am least excited for just about everything else because <laughs> it's, it's foreign. <laughs> if I win the $25,000, I'm going to consult a tax accountant. Yes, good <laughs> advice, good job. All right, next up it's Jace, the 23 year old CrossFitter. And of course, last week we ran CrossFitters through this course and we know that they struggle here. But I don't know about Jace, something about this athlete tells me that he is very well-rounded, very strong. And if he can get through these first few obstacles, I think he has a chance to go all the way and take my $25,000. These quintuple steps, no problem for Jace. Now let's see his vertical jump. You gonna go for the vertical jump? Should I? I think you should. 48 inch vert, let's see it. Can I step into it? Yeah. Don't hurt yourself. Up! Yeah, dude, you got another six inches there if you want it. That was huge. All right, he's through the vertical jump onto the pegboard, and this was the toughest event for the CrossFitters last week. But of course, we hadn't yet learned about the monkey bar technique. He is gonna make it through this pegboard, but the Lachey has stopped every single CrossFitter in their tracks. Can Jace be the first CrossFitter to nail the Lachey? There it is. Build that swing. You know what a kip is, on a big kip, okay? There it is. Big kip. Reach! Yes! And he's done it, the first crossfitter to clear the lache. He made that look easy. Let's watch him toss this 400 pound tire around. Don't touch anything red. I used to do this for work all the time. 
that chest up. Keep that chest up. Up and over, up and over, up and over. And that tire, no problem for Jace. And here he is, $100 richer. Hey, there it is, $100 richer. How'd you know that was there? Uh, I watched your videos, man. <laughs> Good idea. Oh. And now Jace eyeing the sixth obstacle, the slack line. I don't know if he's practiced the slack line, but I have a feeling if he can get through this obstacle, that wall is going to be no challenge for him. And in the back of my mind, I can already see this guy unlocking the cash case and taking my 25,000. Oh, 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 no, no. Good job though. That's a new record in this house right here. That's the farthest anyone's made it. Let's hear it for Jace. Good job. Hi, my name is Tyler Gillette. I'm 27 years old and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Fly out all the way just for this? Uh, this was definitely a big reason, yeah. <laughs> what did you think of the course when you first saw it? Uh, it's gonna give me at least one of two H's. Happiness, humble, it's gonna get me humble. Or there's a third, you know, it could be hernia with that tire, but whatever. <laughs> for training, I do ninja. I've been training ninja for 12 years. Wow. Yes. 510, 160. Up school I'm looking forward to least probably would be the tire flip. So I was in LA visiting my sister. I saw your video yesterday in LA and I immediately got on and changed my flight to Oregon, then home. And now our very first elite ninja to run the course, Tyler Gillette. Now I didn't specifically invite any ninjas, but I had a feeling word would get out and a few might show up. Ninjas like Tyler eat obstacle courses like this for breakfast. He may not look like an elite ninja the way he's dressed in those street clothes, but he is an athlete to be feared. And I'll tell you what, I am fearful that I am about to lose $25,000. Quintuple steps, no problem. Vertical jump, no problem. And Tyler is making light work of this pegboard. I don't think the transition is going to be hard for him. I don't think the lache is going to be hard for him. What can possibly stop this elite ninja? Yes. Oh, he's aggressive. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right. He's obviously got the climbing skills. Does he have the raw strength? Now on to the tire. Is it going to be successful or is it going to be a hernia? Let's find out. Yeah. Keep that chest up. Chin up, chest up. Drive. Oh my gosh. And over, and over, and over, and over, and over! Wow! Tyler has successfully flipped that tire, the obstacle he was most nervous about. Now onto the slack line. Is he gonna set a new course record? Is he gonna take home that grand prize? Let's find out. How much slack line experience you got? Not enough? Uh, a little bit? I touch one every week. Oh, good. This one is a little bit different. They're always different. Yeah. You got this. Slow and steady. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh, no! No! Oh! Dude. I'm proud of you. That was a hell of an attempt. No. Bring it in. Well done. No. Well done. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm 29 years old. I'm from Eugene, Oregon. Uh, for training, I do a mix of CrossFit, Ninja Obstacle Course, and a lot of calisthenics bodyweight workouts. Based on my background, I'm least excited for the slack line. Have you slack line before? Barely. If I win the 25,000, I'm going to take my dad on a trip. All right, next up, our last competitor of the day. It is Jesse. He's 29 years old. He's a local, and this kid is a triple threat. He trains CrossFit. He trains Ninja. He trains Calisthenics. This is the athlete that I have been looking for. Nice. Nice. There it is. Jesse making light work of the first two obstacles onto the pegboard, and this is nothing for this man. Look at this guy go, barely missing a peg, utilizing that monkey bar technique. Yes, go for it. Get it, nice. That's athleticism right there. And now on to the lache. It has stopped some amazing athletes, but it is no problem for Jesse as he nice. effortlessly clears that 10 foot Jesse, gap. Jesse, you made that look easy. Now kick this tire's ass. And this is where that CrossFit training right. will come right. in right. handy. Right. This tire has stopped some strong athletes, but for a CrossFitter like Jesse, no problem. On to the slack line. How do you feel about a slack line? Not good. <laughs> it's not that bad. 
Jesse is through five of seven obstacles. He is just feet away from $25,000. I'm equal parts nervous and equal parts amazed at this athlete's incredible skill set. Come on, come on, easy, nice, nice, you have it, you have it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, no. Oh, good save, good save. Wow. You're like the squirrel that ran across the road and then came right back. <laughs> you got this. I think I gotta run it. Oh gosh. Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Wow. We have a new course record holder. No athlete has ever made it this far on the impossible obstacle course. All that separates Jesse from $25,000 is this warped wall. Give it hell. Come on, Jesse. You got it. Up, 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 up. Oh! Good try. Good try. You got it. You got it. You got to commit to it. Attempt one did not go as planned for Jesse, but he hasn't touched anything red yet, so he gets another try. Yes, 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 oh! You want one more try? Yeah. We'll okay, kick its butt. Attempt two, even closer, and he still lives to fight on. Everything you got, everything you got, up! Oh, oh! Touch you touched the red? I touched the side. All right, good job. That was close. He just touched the side. Oh my gosh. The 25,000 is still safe. Tune in next week to see if anyone can unlock this case.